Browser extensions are an integral part of how we use our web browser. And this one is pretty important because it's gonna save you time, just make you a better internet user, I think, as well. Kind of following up on how I used RSS in this past video, this one's more of a noob-friendly video for those that really wanna tackle this with just a simple uh, couple extensions that make my life easier. Maybe there's something in here that is interesting to you. Let's not waste any time. First up on the list here, Authenticator. This is what I usually click for all my two-factor. So anytime you have to authenticate with two-factor, you just type a key in and then it just spits out the two-factor code right here. You just click on your extension and away you go. Next up, Checker Plus. Now this is a pretty cool plugin. I use Google Calendar all the time, but if you don't, Checker Plus has integrations with many utilities. I love the fact that this just kind of says, hey, what is going on with uh, my week. This is kind of what my week looks like. I try not to put too much stuff on my calendar because it overwhelms me. So I try and keep a pretty plain profile and you can see the day and time I'm actually recording this. You can go even wider to month view, day view and say, okay, let's zoom in today. What am I doing today? Uh, zoom out for a week, a month, all those things. So really important to know. I love this. Click and clean is the next one. This is an interesting extension because I love the fact that it cleans all the cache, it cleans all the data. Now you might be thinking, doesn't the browser do that already, Titus? Isn't Brave supposed to clear out most of the stuff? It doesn't do a very good job. Chrome is even worse, of course, on this front. So this is what I like to use, click and clean. You just come in here, you can easily safely close and clear out all your data. This clears out cache files, it clears out history, and you can hit the little cog here and kind of set all of it right here and say, hey, I want this button to do these things and it will delete those files directly from there. So uh, I don't know how anyone doesn't use this. Next up, get RSS feed URL. I talked about RSS in the past video. Basically, whenever I go to a website like ChrisTitus.com, I don't want to scroll and be like, hey, where is the RSS thing? Or sometimes there's like, I think how to geek, they have an RSS feed, but they don't even advertise the icon like right here. Finding the RSS feed on websites can be cumbersome. This just spits out and says, here's your RSS feeds. That's so nice. And you just copy the URL, you paste it in wherever you're gonna pull these in and it's just awesome. Full page. Now, full page capture, a lot of times you wanna take a screen cap, especially if you do YouTube or anything and you're like, okay, let me capture this and do like, okay, let's do this screenshot. And then you come down here and let's say you wanted to do one down here, you'll do another one right here. It's just cumbersome and you end up with just a terrible result with a whole bunch of images. What full page capture does, let's say we have it installed, we just click it, it goes through, captures it all, and then spits it out in either a PDF or we could download it as a PNG. That's awesome. Like this is clutch. Midnight Lizard is like dark mode. Let's say you're real sensitive or you're in bed and all the lights are off. You want dark mode everywhere. Midnight Lizard, we can turn that on and it makes everything dark on a page. Even my dark mode could be darker and you can even do specific color schemes. You can set exclusions, you can change background, saturation limits, colors, but you can change every little bit of this, you're in complete control. Uh, many other people use Dark Reader, but I think Midnight Lizard is just a far superior dark mode extension. Then one of my favorites, I always get asked, uh, the home screen. My home screen always just gives me the time. Usually I just put my task of the day, which is just to record videos, something basic like that. And then when I finish the task, I'd click it. But that just kind of keeps me on point. I have a basic to-do list of, for the week that I just kind of always have. And then at the end of the week, I make sure all these are checked off. And usually an inspirational quote. This is all the momentum extension, which is great. And then a beautiful picture. Now, a lot of people are like, well, the new Brave, you can strip out all this stuff. If you're using Brave, just install momentum. It's just such a superior experience because the Brave start screen, I think, is just trash. It's gotten better to where you can really customize it. But for me, I'm already on momentum. I'm never gonna let Brave control my new tab screen. It's just not something I like about Brave, but I do like the browser as a whole. Moving on, 
The next one's Notifier for GitHub. Now I use this every day. When I load into my thing, I wanna say, hey, what comments do I have on my website? What pull requests, what issues might happen with like my Windows utility or anything I've contributed to, issues I've submitted, those types of things. I do a lot on GitHub and having GitHub Notifier there, just saying, hey, you have two things you haven't read. I need to look at that. So I'll click into this and just kind of browse through and say, okay, what do we have? Nothing here. Install script. Oh, I need to fix this. Oh, I actually submitted a bug error to lack of time about this specific thing. But this is just a great way how I keep up with my notifications in GitHub. Roboform is my password manager. I've, I've used Roboform for over a decade and one that has never really let me down. But if I ever did need to leave Roboform, I could export all my passwords and import it somewhere else. Uh, another one I'd recommend is Bitwarden. Many other people like Bitwarden Password Manager. The cool thing they have is like FIDO keys. If you want to just do physical security keys to log in, Bitwarden allows that and self-hosting. So it just depends on your comfort level. For me, I've just used RoboForum. They haven't let me down yet, but if they do, I can easily move off of them. The only thing I'll say about password managers and extensions is stay away from all-in-one tools whether it's NordPass, whether it's McAfee. There's going to be somebody out there that uses McAfee, but please, please stay away from these all-in-one tools because it locks you into bundled systems. And a lot of times their export tools are garbage and they're not very good. So stay away from things that don't specialize in password management. Don't do bundled password managers. That's the, the one thing I can say about this and extensions. Pick whichever one you like. I personally like RoboForm because it's automation. And I've just used it forever and I trust it. But if you wanted an alternative that's open source and that you can self-host, I highly recommend Bitwarden as well. These are just YouTube extensions that nobody's going to care about or want, but I use them all the time. And then my final one here is Web Highlights, although I do have a little bonus. Web Highlights is my favorite thing. Like, let's say I'm in here browsing the web and I want to highlight something. Something happens. I'm like, oh, you know what? That would be cool. Let's say I wanted to highlight all that. Let's put that in a red font or maybe something a little bit uh, brighter. I can kind of color these as I need and make it easy to go back and absorb this knowledge or maybe even present it in a video. Highlighting is a very useful tool. I highly recommend doing it. Even if you're reading physical books, highlighting as you go, you're going to help your retention of that knowledge. And then a special bonus here at the end is going to be Extensity. Extensity is a great way to disable plugins. I don't like rolling with a whole bunch of plugins on all the time. So what I do is I disable Midnight Lizard, disable Click and Clean because I don't want to clean my browser right now. Uh, I'm not adding anything to my RSS URLs. I'm going to just disable those. I've just cleared out three extensions with a click of a button. And I love the menu it has. So when I'm not using those plugins, even though I love those plugins, I disable them so they're not going all the time in the background. That's going to make your browser load faster. It's going to make your browsing experience just a lot better uh, as far as not bogging it down with constantly doing a bunch of processing in the background that doesn't necessarily need to be done. Extensity, use it, it is amazing. And with that, what extensions did I miss? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.